Um, and, and will there be more to come if this series is a success or not? So much a success, will that not matter? Will, will, will it still be something that you look for as well? I just don't see how it's not a success. I mean, I mean, the, the, this country was interested in the Ultimate Fighter when it was Americans fighting. You yeah, know? Yeah. Now that it's 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 their homegrown talent against the U, the UK, I think that this is a, a no-brainer. Yeah. But really, what this is for us, and always has been, and always will be, is a place, you know, is a show and, and a competition where we cultivate talent. Yeah. We were at UFC 148. We were at the press conference there. We asked you about tough. I don't remember there, an Aussie voice asking about yeah, tough yeah. Australia. Yeah, it was me. <laughs> I no, do. Dis no disrespect to you, but you seemed a bit confused. Had you genuinely not picked the coaches at that stage? Or, or was it too early? No. Here's the problem. Here's the we, problem. We were like, what the hell? They don't know yet. Here's what happens, okay? okay. So explain. I'll be at a press conference, and you guys start firing shit at me that, like... That you weren't prepared for. No, no, it's not that I'm not prepared. I'm prepared for anything. Yeah. You, you can ask me anything, and I'll answer What's any question. Shock, so I'll, are, yeah, I'll ding, 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 yeah, I'll answer yeah, yeah. them. Yeah. I'll literally step off the stage, and my phone will start blowing up, and it's people from my office going, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> we were supposed to announce this on fucking Friday on this yeah. show and that show, and I'm like, oh. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So now when you guys hit me with shit, I'm like... You know what? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the yeah, answer to yeah, that yeah, question yeah. is. Yeah. Let's talk about the fight tonight. Yeah. Every time yeah. I do it, I get a call from the office saying, we weren't supposed to do this. I was in a press conference somewhere, and they're like, did you pick uh, Did you, Did you? you pick who's getting inducted in the Hall of Fame yet? And I said, yeah, Tito. Tito is. My fucking PR staff wants to kill me. They're like, Tito was teed up on ESPN, on SportsCenter, on Friday to announce it. And you're supposed to be on with him. Now we just blew it. We gave it. We were giving. You know what I mean? So that's what's been happening to me lately. Yeah, but after the history of the UFC, you know, it's all good. <laughs> right. It's true. Yeah. Frank Chamber, is he like you'll get, get in the Hall of Fame anytime soon? Or? Uh, I think that we, you know, I pretty much said the guys who are getting into the Hall of Fame, the UFC Hall of Fame, are guys that have been during the Zufi era over the last 11 years who've helped us build this, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Props yeah. to the guys that built this. Yeah. And Frank's a dick. I mean, all this guy does is, 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 is smash us since day one and talk about, you know, how, how we're ruining the sport and all this other stuff. Yeah, what has yeah, yeah. Frank Shamrock done in the last 11 years to further the sport of mixed martial arts? Actually, I've got a list. <laughs> yeah, I'd love, love to see it. I would love to see it. Um, so, look, we, we, were at, I mean, we were at the Southern fight. Big fans of Southern. Really disappointed with the ending. Where does that put him now, realistically? That whole scheme. Uh, I mean, he's still one of the best guys in the world, and uh, you know, I honestly still to this day of time right here, I have not talked to him on the phone yet. Um, the thing that he's very lucky is that he's got a lot of options right now. Still one of the best in the world in that weight division. Uh, television loves him. He's a great analyst. Um, he, I, he's going to do fine. No matter no matter what this guy decides to do. He's going to be just fine. Will you be lining me up to WWE anytime soon? <laughs> I don't think so. I, I, don't, I don't think that's what he's into. And what people really have to understand, I said it the press conference, it's true. It's the first fight, it's the first fight that made this fight as big as it was. You know, because he talked crazier stuff during the first fight. It was how he fought that first fight that yeah. sold the second. Yeah, he fought well in the first round as well. He did. Exactly. Yeah. We got to wrap this up. We can talk right here. No, no, let's keep going. Let them ask me everything they want to ask me, and then we'll... Okay, so, um, last time you were in Australia, we talked about Hector Lombard. Yeah, yeah, So not long ago. Do you remember us? Yeah, yeah, Hector dude, I, I do remember that. Okay, yeah, so uh, and I keep telling everybody, every time every time I come here, man, Hector Lombard, Hector yeah. Lombard, everybody was asking me, well, yeah. there you go. So we, we got Hector Lombard congrats, this Saturday, live on pay-per-view. Oh, yeah. Can't wait, can't wait. <laughs> me too. We'll be watching his bills on. <laughs> so if he has, if he, ha if he wins, which we predict he will, yeah. um, Weedman just had a great... Do those two get together and then... We'll have to Lombard. figure out. There's some guys that are all in that, you know, you got Bisbing in there, yeah, you, got, yeah. you got Weidman, you got uh, um, uh, Hector Lombard, yeah. and who's the one guy I'm forgetting? There's like four of them right now. There is another one. Isn't hanging there? out there. Um, oh, jeez. Anyway, the, the point is, every time you like, you know, you start to think, oh God, who's next for Anderson Silva? Yeah, yeah. Right now, the 85 pound division is heating up with some interesting talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, mean, I, I thought after the sun, I thought, oh, who does he fight? Yeah, there's really no one. But now all of a sudden, within the space of a week, there are three guys that are like, okay, there's some guys. You can't hear. Bonner. Oh, okay, yeah. Bonner? Uh, Stefan Bonner. Yeah. Big Aussies love Stefan Bonner because yeah. he brings it every time. Yeah, yeah. I love Stefan too. Are yeah. you forcing him into retirement? He's on a four-fight win streak. It's not that I'm forcing him into retirement. Bonner's all over the map. Yeah, yeah. You know, he doesn't know what he wants to do. 
this and that. You, you, first of all, I'd love to see him go out with a four fight win streak or a five fight win streak if you fight, fight, fight he really wants. Right, yeah. It's just I don't see the point. Yeah. What, what's the my, my, my thing always with fighting is you, you want to win a world title, right? Yeah. That's what you should be here for. You want to win a world right. title. I mean, I guess everybody wants to make some money and shit, but if you just want to make some money, we got a fucking job, man, because yeah. there's easier shit to do than this. Yeah. You're, you have to be in this mentally, physically, and emotionally True. to do this sport. This isn't fucking baseball, man, True. where you go out and hit a couple fucking balls and, oh, I struck out four games. Who cares? Yeah. You strike out here and it's it's dangerous. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta be you gotta be in this because you you. You're, every day when you jump out of bed, you're ready to go train and stay on top of your game. You want to win a world title. If you're just hanging out because you don't know where you're going or what you're doing, yeah. it's, it's just it's, this isn't the place to be. So there's no fights for him coming up at all? I don't know. I got to talk to him, you know, because I talked to him face to face and he says one thing. Then he's out saying another thing in the media. But he has been telling me he wants to be coaches with Forrest Griffin and, yeah, yeah, and all yeah. that shit. But yeah. You didn't see value in that? Maybe they, maybe. they fought twice. Forrest beat him twice. Yeah. That's yeah. like doing a rematch with fucking Chael and Anderson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I know he called out Rampage. He called out what well, he'd like to do a forest fight. Um, a little nog. Any, any, any of those fights appeal to you? Or do you see? Well, the other thing is uh, some of those guys that he's talking about are contenders, you know, yeah. that, are, that are in that top ten category. And, and what's the point in going in and fighting the top ten? I want this to be my last fight and then I'm going to retire? Or I, I just I just don't get where Bonner's going. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I love him. The guy's gonna be with us. When he goes away, he's gonna be around anyway, one way or the other. Just, just he's, he's got to figure out some direction to figure out. He's about to be in there, so maybe maybe exactly. they might be nice for him. Hey. Yep. If you can find it in your heart, so well, you can well, he, he's gonna he's he's gonna be part of the family regardless. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's not likely he's gonna be homeless, jobless, and with a new baby. He's gonna be fine. Yeah, 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 exactly. Right, well, look, that, that, that being said, we really, really look forward to this whole series of tough. Thank you, sir. We have this the first of many in Australia. Me too. And hopefully we get enough fighters growing and, and, and becoming good enough here that we can have a whole series of Australians versus Australians next time. It's going to happen. This is a tough country with a lot of tough guys, and this is another outlet for people to become professional athletes and make yeah. millions of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars, or 60000 You know what I mean? The yeah. Guys that can, that can compete for a living and make money. Yeah. Where's the next uh, China or something? Or India? Which one have you sort of worked out? China. China. Oh, you mean China. Ultimate Fighter? Yeah, yeah. Don't know. Yeah, we're still working on that, but more than likely that one will be India first. Okay. And uh, China, we're going to China with a UFC event in November. Okay. And then and then India, would you go up against Super Fight League in India maybe? Give them a bit of a run for their money? <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, I, I, it's good that they're there. Yeah, you know, that's a market that's... Uh, it's never been touched with MMA. We need a smaller organization to cultivate talent there. Yeah, yeah, Whether they want to think they are or not, I've yeah. heard it all before. Yeah. Super Fight League, yeah, the Super Small League. We're coming to India. Any words for Ken? No, you love that guy. Yeah. Oh, you guys are troublemakers, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Dad. All right.